What? Hello and welcome back to new video. Now this is part 7 on how to make a custom pet system and in today's video we're going to be doing the egg unlocked feature. So that basically includes if we haven't unlocked this egg it will have a lock around it, a text here will say locked, etc. And if we have time we will also get started on sending some remote events and functions to the client to start the actual egg animation. Now with all that being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe and let's get into it. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is create a lock. So I'm going to create this in Blender and once again, I will leave this in the description below. You guys can go get it for completely free and let's get on with it. Now I went ahead and made this train, which will be the egg lock model. Now you can make your own, but if you don't want to, this will be in the description of course. And now let's go ahead and import this into Roblox. And here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to color this. So let's change this to a gray. So something like that. We're going to make this a gold color. Make this a bit darker maybe. Alright, now we're going to model this and name it Egg Lock. Make sure it's anchored. There we go. And what you want to do is you want to go into Replicate Storage, insert a new folder called Assets. So, Assets. And we're going to insert this model into the folder here. Now, what we're going to do is go to Signals, Functions, and insert a remote function. We're just going to go ahead and name this Get Data. We're going to close this up and then go into server script service, server. Now we're just going to make a quick function called remote functions. Okay, awesome. So that's all we're doing for this script. Go ahead and X out this script. Also make sure you go into server script service, server scripts, data system, then user data. Now we're gonna go ahead and insert a new table. We're gonna name this eggs unlocked. We're gonna make that table. And there we go. Now X out this script. Go ahead into start player, start player scripts, game, then egg display and let's get on with it. We will also need to weld the lock, okay? So go ahead and insert it to workspace. Now, make sure the chain is named main, and then this can just be named anything. Now make sure the egg lock primary part is, so primary part, make sure this is a main, then we're gonna go ahead, select both of these, unanchor them, we're gonna go to weld all, then just weld the main part, or anchor the main part and that's all and I'll go ahead move it back into assets and let's continue okay so let's just go ahead and test this real quick click play and we have an error lock.primary parts okay oh no Lock dot parent equals egg. There we go. Let's go ahead and test this. Okay, awesome. We're gonna go ahead and rotate this lock and move it up a tiny bit. Let's go ahead and test this one more time real quick. 
Okay, and there we go. If we haven't unlocked the egg, it will show up as this. We also need to disable this if we haven't unlocked it. Let's go back into our script. Okay, let's just go ahead and give this a quick test. Okay, and there we go. Now it won't show the UI if the egg isn't unlocked yet. That works. We're also going to make the lock a tiny bit bigger. Let's go ahead and do that. Move it back in assets. Okay, awesome. We're also going to do some debugging here. So go into um, data system. Now where it says get data, we're going to do if profile equals equals nil, then Okay, X out of this script. So what we're doing is if the profile is equal to nil, then we're gonna run a loop until the profile isn't equal to nil. Okay, now let's give this a test, okay? So if you haven't unlocked the egg, it will look like that. Now go ahead into user data. Inside of this table, just insert basic egg. We're gonna go ahead and reset the player's data. So data system, I'm gonna make the data version like that, X out that, click play. Okay, we have a bug. So let's go back into our egg display. Let's do some debugging real quick. Well, let's create a new function, okay? We're gonna do function is egg unlocked. Egg name, egg, let's just do egg. We're just gonna do is egg unlocked. We can also delete this line here. Egg. We're just gonna do the same, so move this line down here. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and test this. Okay, and awesome. That seemed to work. Okay, now let's go back into our egg display script. And the last thing we're going to do today is just detect when the player clicks yes or no, okay? So let's go back into our script and let's get on with it. Inside of the pop-up, we're going to insert a string value. We're going to name this current egg. And this will just be nil. Then we're going to do here. Let's give this a quick test. Click E. Awesome. And no. Yep, that works. Now that will do for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.